I'm Ashley from Ashley Young Music Studio, and today we're going to be talking about chord symbols, part two. In the first video, we covered major, minor, augmented, and diminished chords, and today we're going to talk about the five types of seventh chords. Now, a seventh chord is basically a three note chord with an additional note. And the reason that it's called a seventh chord is because the distance from this additional note back down to the starting note of the chord is an interval of a seventh. Now, if you don't know what intervals are, I have a whole video that explains that. So go ahead and watch that video first. And if you don't know what major, minor, augmented, and diminished chords are, you're going to definitely want to go back and watch part one of this video before watching this video. So the first seventh chord we're going to talk about is a major seventh chord. And the symbol that you'll frequently see for this chord is your chord name followed by M, A, J, and a seven. This means that you're going to be playing a major chord with a major seventh on top of it. So to build my major chord, I'm going to start on my starting note. Let's use C. I'm going to go up four half steps and then three half steps. Now in order to get the interval of that major seventh, starting with my C, I'm gonna go up 11 half steps. Now you can see I have my major chord with my major seventh and I play all of those notes at once. I play all of those notes at once and that's my major seventh chord. This formula of half steps will work starting on any key on the piano, so you can build any major seventh chord with it. Now the next type of seventh chord you'll commonly hear referred to as a dominant seventh chord. And the symbol that you'll see for it is just a letter from the alphabet plus a seven. This symbol means that you're gonna be playing a major chord with a minor seventh. So we're gonna build that major chord again, starting on C, going up four half steps, going up three half steps. And then for my minor seventh, I'm gonna go up 10 half steps. When I put all four notes together, I have my dominant seventh chord, my major chord with my minor seventh. The next one we have is a minor seventh chord. A minor seventh chord will often be the letter name followed by M-I-N and a number seven. Now for this chord, we're gonna build a minor chord with a minor seventh. So we have our starting note, which is C in this case. We're gonna go up three half steps, followed by four half steps. And then for the interval of the minor seventh, we're gonna do 10 half steps. When we combine all four notes together, we have our minor seventh chord. Next, we have our half diminished seventh chord, which is a diminished chord with a minor seventh. Now the chord symbol that you'll often see for this one is your letter name with M-I-N-7 followed by flat five, or you'll see your letter name with a degree symbol with a slash through it. So to build this chord, I'm gonna start with my starting note. I'm gonna go up three half steps. I'm gonna go up three more half steps. And then to add my minor seventh from the bottom note, it's gonna be 10 half steps. And lastly, I have my fully diminished chord. That's a diminished chord with a diminished seventh interval. The symbol for this chord is going to be our letter name followed by D-I-M-7 or our letter name followed by a little degree symbol and seven. So this is what it looks like starting on C. We're gonna go up three half steps and three half steps. And then for our diminished seven, we're gonna go up nine half steps from the bottom. There you have your five types of seventh chords. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next time.